So a lot of people were asking me for examples of primary water because they were never taught it. Reason being is our educational system was taken over by the Rockefellers in the 1900s and then the media was taken over by Operation Mockingbird in the 1960s. So both systems do not teach about primary water, which is right here. This is the combination of hydrogen and oxygen coming in from inside the earth at a volcanic pressure to create brand new water, living water, water, water that does not contain fluoride, that does not contain arsenic, that does not have pharmaceuticals or drugs or anything inside of it. It's pure. And that's why back in the day when they were going into mines and they were trying to mine, for example, copper or gold or silver, whatever it may be, these mines would actually flood out. They would have to get pumps to try to pump out the water because the water was just coming in through the walls because there is so much water underneath us. But the media will always try to put the fear that we are running out of water. They start putting all this drought stuff and then we're running out of water. And then now, because we are running out of water supposedly, because we are supposedly using it all up, they're trying to usher in, for example, water police, water taxes, and all these water basically restrictions so that you can't grow your own food, you can't water your lawn, you can't wash your car. So it's important to be aware of primary water, the water you have never been taught about at the primarywaterinstitute.org so that you can remove the fear and never live in the fear that we are actually running out of water.